Hey, welcome to Christian Fitness. Today's show is going to be a core program, so you don't need any dumbbells or anything else. Just get yourself ready. And today we're at the beautiful Florida Botanical Gardens. Come join us. Come on. Round number one of this core show, we're gonna do what we call leg lifts. So beginners, you just can do one leg at a time. You can do maybe two or three, and then just alternate and do the other leg. Just two or three. Lori, for intermediates, what? Do you like to do how many? Four, five, six. <laughs> However, whenever you finally say that's enough, that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's just more than two or three. And just alternate legs, nice and simple. Advanced, we're gonna do both legs at one time. And you can stay on your hands. You see how Lori's staying on her hands? You can go down to your elbows if you like. Lay down a little bit to your elbows. You can go all the way down, lay flat on your back if you like to. But nothing but core. And a lot of people, they have a misconception about the core. They think it's just stomach. You know, they just want to go home and do crunches to work on the core. The core is actually, it's your whole torso. I mean, it's everywhere from, you know, your thighs all the way up through your hips, all the way to lower your stomach and even your chest area. So we're going to work all of that through today's show. Isn't it beautiful out here today? Beautiful. We're at the Florida Botanical Gardens today. So we are just enjoying all the beauty the Lord's made and the sun yeah, it's that's hot. A, yeah. Gorgeous, gorgeous day though. You're really going to enjoy some of the footage here, all the flowers, some of the wildlife. And you're going to get a good workout. So if you're just sitting there on your couch at home, there's no excuse. You can do this just sitting on your couch. Hey, sit on the couch. How are you holding up, Lori? I'm good. <laughs> For the intermediates? I'm good. Oh, I could just lay down and take a nap out here. <laughs> this is nice. <laughs> Please rest for one minute. Since we're shooting outdoors today, our fitness facts are going to be on vitamin D. But first of all, what are the benefits of vitamin D? It helps to form and maintain strong bones and increases bone mineral density, decreases fractures. It regulates blood pressure, reduces stress and tension. Reduces respiratory infections, relieves body aches and pains by reducing muscle spasms. Recent research suggests that it may provide protection from osteoporosis, hypertension, which is high blood pressure, cancer, and several autoimmune diseases. So it helps with bones, cells, blood, skin, and muscles. That pretty much covers the entire body. Vitamin D is a lot more important than most people realize, but stay tuned because a little bit later on we're going to tell you how to get plenty of vitamin D. Round number two, we're gonna call this knee to the chest. So just real simply for beginners, just gonna bring one knee up at a time, do one or two, and then alternate to the other knee, one or two. In intermediates, Lori, what, just like round number one? Wanna do three to five, maybe? Three to five, that's what you're comfortable with. Put yourself so that you do get a good workout. You set your limit. Advanced, both knees, same time. What I like to do is when you come out, don't slam your heels down, and don't even touch your heels to the ground. Just come out, leave them about an inch off the ground, and come right back up. And you can do, oh, however many you can, five, 10, 20, do them the full two minutes if you can. I think that's the key is you start out and think, okay, I can do this, but remember, we're doing this for two minutes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's why we put that little clock in the corner so you can keep an eye on that and either push yourself and go, oh, I've only got, you know, 20, 30 seconds, I can make it. Or you go, wow, I've got a whole minute. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna, you know, put my legs out of rest for just a second and then start up again. And that's definitely okay to do that. You can rest if you Especially if you're a beginner, just one, put your leg down, the other, put your leg down. After two minutes, you're going to feel this. You're going to feel it tomorrow, too. <laughs> yeah, my thighs are cramping. So what I'm going to do, since we're on our hands, I'm going to go down a little bit lower to my elbows and go from here. And as you pull back, when you're here, you want to crunch your stomach. Really compress, tighten the stomach. So squeeze it when you get your knees back. Is that what I'm supposed to be doing? No, you can... <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, if you want to challenge yourself, go ahead. <laughs> that fitness fact, we're covering vitamin D today in the fitness facts, since we're outside and getting a lot of sunshine. But uh, yeah, when we started doing the research, it's amazing some of the benefits of vitamin D. A lot of things I actually wasn't aware of until we did a lot of the research. I wasn't either. It increases bone density, it helps reduce muscle spasms. I mean, there are so many factors that vitamin D are helpful. Time has expired. Please rest for one minute. All right, this is our favorite part of Christian fitness, where we get into the scripture. And Lori's got some fantastic scripture for us today. Lori? It's Philippians 1, 3 through 6. And Paul is writing to the Philippian church saying, Every time I think of you, I give thanks to my God whenever I pray. I make my request for all of you with joy, for you have been my partners in spreading the good news about Christ from the time you first heard it until now. And I am certain that God who began a good work within you will continue his work until it is finally finished on the day when Christ returns. Paul gives thanks to the people that he has led to the Lord and that he prays for them. He thanks God for them. Every time he thinks of them, he prays in thanksgiving for their life and their salvation. All right, round number three. We're going to call this a knees bent and twist. So for beginners, you can just bring your heels up onto your mat or your floor or your couch, wherever you are. You're just going to reach across and try to touch both hands to the side if you can. Reach, touch both on the other side. So just alternate back and forth and try to touch both palms. You really want to rotate the upper body, really rotate. It's going to work your obliques. It's going to work your lower abdomen to balance. Intermediates, every once in a while, lift your feet off the ground and do the twist. And you can do one or two, what, one or two, Lori, and then put your feet down. Or whatever, yeah, put one or two, yeah. three or four, whatever you feel comfortable with. Just I mean, I forget sometimes to start talking. I just leave my legs up the whole time. <laughs> well, that's what we want to do for advance. You want to do maybe, I don't know, 10, 20, as many as you can, until your thighs start cramping, which they might be sore from that last round still. <laughs> You're going to start cramping. <laughs> Get a good twist. Yeah, really rotate the upper body. That's scripture. I love that scripture. I like the very first verse where he thanks God every time he thinks of them. Yeah, he's thankful he prays. He thanks God in, in his prayer time. He thanks God for them being co-workers And that was what we call Jesus. He spreads that. And the amazing thing about it is if you think of Paul, who was Saul from Tarsus, just the change of heart that he had. I mean, he was a Pharisee. He persecuted Christians, killed Christians and the change of heart that he had, that now that every time he, he thinks of this church at Philippi, that he just thanks God for them. And the whole time Paul ministered, everywhere he went, especially in the Philippian church, he was always pressing towards the mark, but also helping others press towards right. the to live in honor of Christ Jesus. Amen. Yeah, study that scripture on your own. Read all of it again. It's time awesome. Time has expired. Since our fitness facts today are on vitamin D, we thought that our nutrition tip should tell you how to get plenty of vitamin D. Vitamin D is found in fish, fortified milk, eggs, cod liver oil, and sunshine. You can also take vitamin D supplements which have been proven to be effective. How much vitamin D do you need? The recommendation for the average person is at least 600 IU per day. An IU is an international unit and for vitamin D, one IU equals .025 micrograms. You get 425 IU in a three ounce serving of salmon, 270 in a can of sardines, 25 per egg yolk, and 100 by drinking one glass of fortified milk or orange juice. And as little as 10 minutes of sun exposure two to three times per week can provide more than enough of the recommended amount of vitamin D. Milk, orange juice, eggs, sardines, salmon, and sunshine, God's incredible natural ingredients for your health. Our nutrition tip today, get plenty of vitamin D. Round four, you actually get to lay back and relax, at least for a second. <laughs> and we're gonna do what we call the one arm reach for the sky. So you just wanna rotate, reach straight up for the sky, rotate to the other side, reach up for the sky. Beginners, I like to at least get your shoulder blade off the ground. Intermediates, try to get the small of your back off the ground, a little bit higher. Advanced, we wanna come up, almost do a crunch as you reach, so you get your whole back off the ground. 
This is really easy to talk when you do this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and this is one of those that looks easy. <laughs> if you're laying on your couch or sitting on your couch and you're not doing this with us, get down on your floor real quickly and try this one. And the whole key with this is it's not speed. It's do it slowly and put a really long stretch so that you're really elongating from your arm and shoulder all the way up. So you literally are reaching, reaching for the heavens. There you go. And come down slowly. A lot of people when they do crunches or sit up or anything like that, they tend to come up and then just flop down. <laughs> That's the last thing you want to do. You want to come up and come down nice and slowly, as slowly as you go up. I feel like I'm laying down hill. <laughs> I've got this awesome view up here looking into the trees and there's a pine right here. <laughs> Yeah, an important thing, which we're going to talk about in our fitness facts later, but we're talking about vitamin D today, which we just covered in our nutrition tip. But, you know, supplements are great, but we encourage you to try to get your vitamin D from natural foods. Like fortified milk, orange juice, salmon, yeah, eggs. Yolk. Yep. So try to get it from your natural foods. You absolutely can take supplements if you need to. Beans. Yeah. <laughs> Sunshine. That's why we're doing this. Yeah, we're getting plenty of vitamin D today. Five, four, okay, three, I'm feeling this. two, <laughs> one. Time has expired. Please rest for one minute. In our nutrition tip, we encourage you to get a little sunshine, but that does come with a caution. Our recommendation was only 10 minutes a few times per week. Keep in mind that the UV rays of the sun penetrate glass and clouds, so even on a cloudy day or when just riding in your car or sitting in a sunlit room at home, you're still exposing yourself to UV rays. Our tip is to wear protective clothing, including sunglasses, a wide-brimmed hat, and use plenty of sunscreen, making sure it has an SPF of at least 30. And our final sun warning, most pediatricians recommend keeping any children under the age of six months out of the sun completely and don't use sunscreen on them. Our fitness fact is on vitamin D from the sun. It's a wonderful thing, but limit it to 10 minutes a few times a week, then cover up. Round number five. We're actually going to turn around for this one, so we're a little more modest. And <laughs> um, we're going to call this a floor sweeper. So spin around at home. You can stay where you are. For beginners, you just want to bring your legs up, and you're going to kick out to the side maybe twice. And then go to the other side, you kick out twice, and then you can put them down and rest for a second. We need to get in. You can do yeah, three or four. And then go to the other side for three or four for intermediates. Is that good for intermediates, honey? Three to, three to five? Three to five, six, seven, eight, whatever you want to do. An intermediate can go as far as they feel comfortable. Advance, we want to lay back, and we're going to do both legs straight up. And once again, just as we talked about earlier, don't let your heels touch the ground. Keep your heels off the ground. If you need to rest, go ahead and rest, but don't let your legs slam down. You actually want to control your legs. Use that lower stomach to keep your heels from hitting. Yeah, we're just bringing our heels down, not touching the ground, we're doing a heel kick. We were calling this a kick heel sweep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't, what we're going to call, because the advance is called a floor sweeper. That's what they call this one. The yeah, beginner, intermediate, I don't know. I don't know what to call that. Kiki floor swing. <laughs> <laughs> It'll make you laugh when you're in the middle of exercising. It's good. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful out here. It is. Yeah, we encourage you to go online and look up the Florida Botanical Gardens. That's where we're shooting today. Some of the sites. Learn more information about that. If you're in St. Pete, visit it. How you doing? Good. I'm <laughs> getting M and D. Just laying back, relaxing. Five, four, three, two, one. Time has expired. Please rest for one minute. All right, this is the part of the show where you, the viewer, actually get to participate. This is where we use a feedback, and Lori, we heard from Wesley. Yes, we did, and Wesley said, I just gave birth to a baby girl nine weeks ago. My doctor said I needed to lose at least 50 pounds. I was so discouraged to exercise, I prayed to God for help. 
The very next day, I found your show and have been working out with you ever since. I've lost 10 pounds so far and dropping. I thank God for y'all. I don't have any back pain now. Praise God. That's cool. awesome. Yeah, that's incredible. No back pain, so she had a miracle. So send us your viewer feedback. You can do that at ChristianFitnessTV.com. Thank you, Wesley, for that email. All right, this round we're gonna call, it's a reach overhead sit up. So we want you to lay back, put your hands overhead, and just get a nice long stretch, then come up and kind of do a little crunch as you reach for the sky. So remember the round we did earlier, we reached with just the one arm, now you're gonna reach with both arms. So reach overhead, just come up, do a little crunch, and reach for the sky. And so, if you're a beginner, I'm sorry. No, go ahead. If you're a beginner, you're just gonna do one, lay back, remember don't slam your back on the ground, and get a good long stretch. And if you're intermediate, you're going to come up and do two or three and then rest. Advanced, we're going to add a little bit to it. We're going to do what we call a V sit up. So now you're just going to lift your legs as you come up, lift your legs to meet your hands. Okay, then come back. Once again, don't slam them down. Come down nice, slow, and controlled. You just make a nice V. Come back down. And get a nice stretch on your shoulders because that's what this is doing. You're stretching out your shoulders and working on your core at the same time. Yeah, no, we're really. I'm sorry, go ahead. <laughs> that viewer feedback, Wesley, that was so awesome. Yes, thank you, Wesley, for emailing us. And we do that, of course, through the website, which is ChristianFitnessTV.com. And she sent us that feedback, but what a blessing. Yeah. Basically, she had a couple miracles. She asked God to give her direction. She found the show. She had a healing or back hug. Right, right. And she's already lost, what, 10 pounds? Yeah. So she's getting healthy. Okay. <laughs> you can just lay there and get some vitamin D. Well, I didn't count on doing this downhill. <laughs> yeah, it is a little hard. It's almost like doing an incline sit up of some kind. Goodness. Probably can't tell on camera, but we are laying back downhill a little bit. Five, <laughs> four. Okay, now. Time has expired. Please rest for one minute. All right, once again, this is a favorite part of the show. It's our scripture segment. And we talked about Philippians earlier, Lori, but we're going to go a little bit later in that same first chapter. Now we're on verse 9 through 11, and Paul is praying, and he says, I pray that your love will overflow more and more, and that you will keep on growing in knowledge and understanding. For I want you to understand what really matters, so that you may live pure and blameless lives until the day of Christ returns. May you always be filled with the fruit of your salvation, the righteous character produced in your life by Jesus Christ, for this will bring much glory and praise to God. That's Paul praying that for the people in the Philippi church, but you can take this same prayer and pray over yourself that you walk in the grace and the love of Jesus. Amen. All right, this round is going to be a leg flutter. So beginners, just prop yourself up on your hands and just kick almost like you're on the side of a pool. Just kick two or three times, then you can put your heels down gently. Intermediates what, Lori? Five to six to ten. Don't, <laughs> <laughs> don't watch me. Just do what you can do. Three, four, five, six, whatever you feel like you can do. And then put them down. Advance. Go the rest of the round if you can. <laughs> if not, do 10, 20, 30 seconds, then take just a two or three second break. I can tell you it's different doing this sloping downhill than it is doing yeah. this. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I've done a hundred. Well, also, you know, some on my hands, Lori went down to her elbows. You can go down to your elbows if you like. You can go all the way flat on the ground, which will really stretch out your abdomen and use a lot of the lower stomach. So you can lay down if you like. Whatever's comfortable. Let's go back and talk about Paul and the change that Jesus made in him. He was changed so much that he was in constant prayers for his brothers and sisters, yeah. for them to grow in the love of Christ, for them to understand how to live a holy life unto the Lord, for them to have fruit from their salvation and helping spread the gospel. Yeah, it's about, it's about the fruit. He encouraged them and edified them to, build, to live a righteous life, which would you know, reflect upon Jesus. 
So we encourage you guys at home, just as Paul did to the Church of Philippi, to live a righteous life and, and honor Christ in everything that you do. Let the Holy Spirit lead you and guide you. He says He will. So let Him do that and lead a life that others can say, there's something about them different. I need to find out what that's about. Absolutely. That was Paul's burden the entire time, was that he led so many people to Christ, but also discipled them with all of his letters. Yeah, really read that entire book and study it. Five, four, three, two, one. Time has expired. Please rest for one minute. This is our last fitness fact on vitamin D. We listed many of the advantages of vitamin D earlier and talked about how beneficial it was to the entire body. But listen to this report from the Journal of the American Geriatric Society. Researchers at the University of Basel in Switzerland found elderly women who took vitamin D supplements plus calcium for three months reduced the risk of falling by 49% compared to those that consumed just calcium. Women who had fallen repeatedly in the past seemed to gain the most benefit from vitamin D. You always hear how good calcium is for your bones. Well, it appears that when combined with vitamin D, it's a powerful recipe for strength, balance, and helps to reduce falls. So make sure to eat plenty of salmon and sardines and get a little sunshine. Round number eight. So if you're on your couch, you can actually stand up for this one or get up off your floor. We're gonna stand up and we're just gonna lean, twist your body and then lean back a little bit. So just twist and lean back. So beginners, just nice and simple. Just take your time, just twist and lean back. Start nice and slow. Intermediates and advanced, you want to reach for your opposite calf. Okay, so reach all the way back. You can bend your knees a little bit, but really rotate the torso, really use your obliques. Yeah, most of our uh, shows, we work so hard during the nine rounds, we don't stretch afterwards, so we always encourage you to stretch when the show is over. This, <laughs> this show, we're actually going to stretch these last two rounds and, and build some muscle at the same time. Yeah, you're going to really feel this. After two minutes, your sides are going to be screaming. <laughs> That's the whole key, the two minutes. You don't feel like you're doing much or it doesn't look like it, but after two minutes, you feel like it. Oh, thank you, Lord, for such a beautiful day. Yeah, perfect weather, especially since we talked about vitamin D all day long and sun exposure. Although we said, what, 10 to 15 minutes, <laughs> two to three times per week. We're getting all of that in one day. And wearing sunscreen protection. Yeah, absolutely. We put on plenty of sunscreen. The camera crew put on plenty of sunscreen today because it is hot. It is beautiful out here at the Botanical Gardens. These are days where I just thank the Lord when I wake up in the morning, thank Him for His healing and helping me become more and more like Him every day. That's what Paul did, Paul prayed. He prayed for so many people. He thanked God for so many people. He thanked them for living holy. He thanked them for being a part of the gospel. He was thankful for the support they gave him. And he prayed for so many people. And that's what we should do. We should be praying for our pastors, praying for the people that are in our lives. Don't just think about them, pray for them. Lift them up to Jesus. Absolutely, amen. Time has expired. Please rest for one minute. Hey, we encourage you to go to our website, which is christianfitnesstv.com. We've got a lot of information on there. Of course, we have product on there. You can get a Christian Fitness hat, Christian Fitness shirt. That's where you can order the DVD. So you can order this show and, and you know watch this and do those exercises anytime that you want. What else, Lori? We have pages where all the ministries that we've used music from is part of the website so that you can be blessed and bless them by buying that music from them and listening to more of what we've done with Christian Fitness. Yeah, and there's, that's the way to contact us as well. There's a contact page on there. That's where we get our viewer feedback and you can send us your emails and uh, there's also Answer the Salvation call on there. So go to christianfitnesstv.com. All right, last round. So get off your couch if you haven't done any of them. At least do this one with us. We're just going to lean to the side. Just real simply, just reach down your leg reach down the other side. So beginners, just reach a little bit, stay there for a second or two, stretch it out, and then come back up. Intermediates, what do you, Lori, like to bounce to her? Not bounce, but just lean two or three times. The more you lean, the longer you lean 
towards your kneecap or past your kneecap, as far as you can go, but just give yourself a good, slow stretch. Yeah, and advanced, I like to actually put my hand up here, which will actually stretch this oblique, and then go down as low as you can on the calf. Really, really reach. Reach down as far as you can down the calf. This feels so good. I'm glad we're doing this last. Yeah, so you're stretching, but then as you come up, it's almost like you're doing a little oblique crunch, so you actually are working the muscles while you're stretching. Yeah, that, that scripture, that's some of my favorite scriptures in, in the book of Philippians. But uh, Paul, and we encourage you to do this. In that opening scripture, those first, in verse three, I believe it was, he says that every time that he thinks about them, he thanks God for them, for the church at Philippi. So anytime the Lord puts someone across your heart, um, you know, a lot of people say, oh, I was thinking about you today. You don't just think about them. When the Lord, especially right. if the Lord puts somebody across your heart, pray for them, thank God for them, and say, Father, I thank you for, you know, Pastor Daniel and just the great calling on his life and how he's so obedient to your calling in his life, or, or whoever it is, whoever the Lord puts across your heart, pray for them and just thank God for them. Like today, I just thank God for all the crew here today. Yeah. <laughs> Working in the hot sun and just so thankful. We ask the Lord to open doors of provision, opportunity, walk in God's blessing because we do. What's blessed is always blessed. Amen. Cannot be cursed. We are walking under the blessing of Jesus Christ. Oh, this feels good. Here an alligator behind us. Three, <laughs> two, one. Time has expired. Christian fitness is about working out, nutrition tips, learning how to eat correctly, but the most important part is your salvation, your relationship with Jesus Christ. And if you're not sure of that, or something has come along and become a discouragement to, to you, the joy of the Lord is our strength. Jesus is our strength. So if you're not sure and you need to rededicate, pray with me. Dear Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Forgive me of my sins. Cleanse me, wash me, make me anew. Thank you that you died on the cross for me and that you're coming back again for me. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen. Yeah, if you prayed that prayer, make sure you go to our website and let us know. We'd love to welcome you to the family, and, and we just it would really bless us to know that you prayed that with us. We always close with 3 John 1, 2. Beloved, I pray that in all respects you may prosper and be in good health just as your soul prospers. Thank you so much for joining us, and God bless you. We love you guys. Up, oh, can we start again? My mic just... Fell down my pants. <laughs> so get plenty of salmon. <laughs> oh, my thighs got too heavy when I hit the mat. <laughs> In our nutrition tip, we talked about some stuff that was really cool. <laughs> oh, burning. Ooh. Burning. You had a few times <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You gotta watch that vitamin what? D. I have no idea if that's what I'm supposed to say or not. I because it's a heart and like run, like on the beach. <laughs> or, or not. <laughs> <laughs>